Uh, good morning, students. Today we are going to start with our chapter nine, that is cloud computing. So, what is the cloud computing? Today we are going to study in this chapter. Cloud is something that is present at a remote location. Cloud can provide services over the net, either on the public network or on private network, WAN or LAN. Cloud is defined as a set of hardware, network, storage interfaces, and services. combined together to deliver the different aspects of computing as a service over a network or internet all you need to educate features devices that allows you to connect to the cloud actually what is cloud cloud is present at the remote location for example it is only present at one place and after that what you have to do it is connected through our private net network or you can say that in the school if there is a wifi it is connected you can connect it with that what is it it is nothing it is at present at one place but you can connect it through the net services and you can even save and your you can use the things commonly like application such as email web conferencing customer relation management all run in a cloud google drive microsoft one drive all the things which are going are some common example which is a low cost online storage for example google drive is providing us the storage capacity it was 15 gb earlier but right now it is 7 gb uh, one day i told you that i'll show you one drive uh, service as i am having a microsoft account see in it there is written this pc in my it and over it it is written one drive see over it one drive this is my account in the microsoft and this service is provided by them and i can save the things in it and this things are saved online means that will be never lost because they are saved online and they would be having a copy of it so this is the service which they are providing i told you in your last class i'll be showing it for example in facebook you upload your photos maintain albums and update status also but if you need to save them and you want that nobody uh, watch them but you want to save it so what you will do you can save it in it like you can save it in google drive you can save it in Uh, your one disk or you can save it in your cloud uh, account also okay so that is the power of the cloud you don't need a local storage operating devices once you upload a photo it stays there forever it does not matter if you delete it from your camera or phone it simply stay in the cloud means for example i am having lot many things in my uh, phone i save all the data all my data in the cloud and after that i deleted it from my mobile phone what will happen that it doesn't matters whether uh, there it is in my cloud and i have deleted from my mobile phone but it would be safe over there cloud computing is made up of two words cloud and computing cloud is a metaphor for the internet matlab this word is used for the internet over here and computing means internet okay the cloud computing refers to the manipulating configuring and executing applications online it offers online data storage infrastructure and application okay now let's study about the characteristics of cloud computing uh, first of all what are the so please make your video visible students don't close your video on demand self service means whatever you want your private things like i want to save my telephone diary i want to save my uh, numbers i want to save my pictures this is what i want for myself so i can use it then broad network access like you are working somewhere okay and uh, you are using it like uh, i am saving my school data everybody is saving it resource pooling like a server need a space network connection bandwidth like these days you are using your online classes you are making your video visible you are making your audio visible you are even sharing your screen also it requires a large bandwidth for that you need to share something so you can share with the help of it only okay this comes with the cloud computing only now what is next the next is rapid elasticity what is rapid elasticity let's study about the next feature that is rapid elasticity sometimes the customer need required additional resources for a small period for example Uh, i was telling you that we are having one printer in the school and everybody wants to use it and everybody wants to use it suddenly uh, we don't need it we need it for a one time only so we can share the resources also okay 
measured services cloud computing is based on the pay for what you see model where resources usage is monitored measured and reported transparently means it is going to tell you whenever you open your mobile phone in your apps it is it shows you your recently used apps aap sab logon ne dekha hoga recently used apps hote hain it shows the time period also that for how much time you have used your whatsapp for how much time you have used your calling part and other also so in that way you can know that which thing you are using it can also tell you that what is the thing you are using the most okay now let's go on types of cloud first is a public there are four different types of cloud first is public cloud a public cloud is provisioned for a open use by the journal public means everybody can use it no boundaries is there i am also a journal public i can use it you can use it there is no restrictions to use it then it comes to the private cloud means for example this is school is an organization this school has created their account and they have given the password only to the students and to the teachers like you are you taking your classes and you can only log in on clicking the teacher's name nobody else can use it so that is a private cloud and what is a hybrid cloud it is a combination of both private and public but it has benefits means it is using some part of the public cloud and some part of the private cloud which are the best they are using it and otherwise they have left it now come to the community cloud now you are if you are making a group for the different organization for example i need to uh, have some application security requirements i want some people to be uh, joined with me so that would be my community i am creating my community okay so what are the benefits of cloud computing first of all when you are not uh, when you don't need to purchase new things for example you are using a printer a same printer can be used by everybody so the price is reducing one machine is working for all in this way many things are using like you are you are saving your if you are saving your files online what would happen you don't need to purchase any pen drive not any other storage hard disk or other things so it will reduce the cost of it so it is not required then reliability it is so reliable that in your phone or in your pen drive once can data can be lost but not in cloud okay it is having so many copies of your data that it cannot be lost they are having a multiple copies of it and they have saved it at different places so you cannot thing it okay unlimited free storage means you are you are not bounded that only this much like you are having a 64 gb uh, pen drive so you are bounded that you can store only 64 gb data but in it you are not bounded you can store as much as you want okay now accessibility you can access access it any time means it is not required that after night 12 you cannot use it and you have to use it before 6 it is like you can use it whenever you want to okay whenever you feel like but it is having some disadvantages also what are some disadvantages like when there is no network you cannot access your data security sometimes your password has been lost or somebody are uh, copying it and using it sometimes security issues are there although cloud ensures that your uh, things are safe now they are improving their security but sometimes it is not so secure okay and even sometimes <coughs> your data is secured at so many places that you when you delete it you are just getting uh, you have to think on it that uh, whether your data is secured or not so this is your disadvantages only this much part we are going to study today and after that we are going to i'll just